What's going on, everybody? It is I, your host this week for the Marvel Podcast, Will. And with me, I have my regular co-host, Luke. Deadpool 2 is having rumors about kind of a mixed reception. And they do bring up some good... I've heard some good points. Uh, not so much from the people that, like, did or didn't see. It's a lot of he said, she said type stuff. The thing that they did bring up that is kind of a good point is that we haven't really gotten a story trailer. And we're hearing that, like, Vanessa is wasted... And there's not really, like, a story story to it, which is a little concerning, because I thought back to it, I'm like, yeah, we've gotten two trailers, and we don't know what it's about. And that's weird. Uh, that is weird. That That's not the only time that has ever happened in Phil, because you want to keep an air of mystery to it, which I get. The only thing we really know is that Deadpool's fighting some organization, the, the DMC, and Cable shows up. And I get they're trying to, like, market it, a certain way, um, and I know, I know other. I think it's isn't going to. I think it's pretty cool that the MRD is going to be in here. Mm-hmm. Like, I, yeah, that's pretty cool because the MRD they're a relatively new thing in the comics, and I've always kind of wondered where they've been at in like X Men movies. So yeah, I mean, what are what are your thoughts about this whole this whole mixed bit of stuff coming out? Because it's 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 we we're hearing a a, a lot of different things because some people are saying that, that it's good. Some people are saying it uh, from the test screening that's not so good, and that's why they're going back for reshoots now. Because uh, even Josh Brolin admitted that in the Entertainment Weekly interview was that he was about to go back for reshoots and everything, but he didn't say why. Yeah, but there and was also like, a couple. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say I think that there was also two like you know counter arguments. People were also saying that you know some of those reports about it not testing well are complete bullshit. But mm-hmm. I don't know. And, and there is a there is a weird one. Because one of the people that was reporting it got a... He was talking about... He hadn't seen it, but he knew people who had. So it was more of a second-hand thing that he was talking about. And then he had shown that he had gotten uh, a message or something from Fox themselves telling him about taking down the tweet, even though I don't think they signed NDAs, uh, the people that saw it. So it just kind of wound up being a, a spread by word of mouth. Or they did. But he's like, well, they can't do anything to me because I didn't see the movie. And it's like, oh... Why would someone make the extra effort to kind of hide this negative discussion about the film uh, before it's released? Which doesn't come out for two months. It, exactly. I don't know. This I, is, I don't this know is a very... freaking out about. This is a very confusing situation. And I guess here on this show we might try to keep up with it. I don't know. It's, it's weird. I know people are concerned for the nature of the film. Because, you know, give him credit. It seems like Ryan Reynolds really does have a passion for this character. And I, like, I feel like more he, passion, I think, than for like any other film he's ever made. And so, yeah, and I think he is willing to go. I feel like he's capable of pulling off um, the nuances that other Luke was describing. That he he is kind of a a you know he's a dick, but he's a tragic dick. <laughs> like there is a, a sadness to him, and he does like do a lot of laughter and jokes to hide up the fact that he's just in pain. Like, like his existence is just, like, depressing and stuff like that. And I feel like Ryan Reynolds has the chops to pull that off. It's just kind of like, will the story be kind of the whole meme pool thing that people are a little worried about for the sequel? And I'm hoping that it that's isn't. What I, I don't... Uh, oh, I was just going to say, that's what I'm worried about. Mm-hmm, it's just going to be meme pool because, because there, you I know, like, 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 let's face it, like, you know, like... You know, Deadpool is a good movie. This is a good version of Deadpool, um, mm-hmm. but it's still not quite the comic version of Deadpool. It's it's kind of like you know they took the goofball side of him and then dialed it way up, you know, like way mm-hmm. way up um, to even really what he is in the comics half the time. Because you know Deadpool mm-hmm. does have his serious moments. He's wisecracking. He jokes a lot. He does you know funny silly things, but not quite to the extent of you know like how the movies portray him. I think the the job that the sequel should have is kind of finding that more about because he doesn't have to be a direct like one for one version of the one from the the comic and everything. Again, it's the whole conversation about adaptation and everything. But at the same time, I don't think the character should be lost in the comedic aspect of him because when you think of this is this is a guy that has been killing for like probably at least a decade. And then all of a sudden he has just this horrible mutation where he is constantly living and dying from like cancer and he completely heals from it. his face is all mangled and fucked up. Um, he was like so concerned for the way that his girlfriend would see him that he basically abandoned her 
to go and find the person that like messed him up on a basically psycho revenge assassination attempt. That's a lot of stuff to like psychologically deal with. And I think you can go forward in showing that. I don't doubt that Ryan Reynolds can pull it off. I know he can. I know he can play serious parts and he can play the jokes too. I know he can balance it out. It all kind of comes down to um the writers and the director of it. And uh, they got the director for John Wick. So I'll say this. The movie will at least look good. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm not worried about that. It's just gonna, it's just gonna come down to that whole conversation of like, will the will the story be able to to hold up? Because uh, one of the issues we've been facing a lot in terms of uh, films and adaptations and sequels and whatnot is being able to carry carry forward the not just whatever legacy of the character we have, but like storytelling, and that's what it will all kind of come down to. You can have great effects, you can have great movies that look good, you can have movies that like act well. But a lot of it really come down to the story because that's what you really go to for in terms of entertainment.